four nil to the Newcastle 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 yes Newcastle United four KSC Lockeren nil. Yeah, I know it's only a friendly. I know I'm probably getting too big for my boots, but so what? I'm going to enjoy every single Newcastle United win. I don't care if it's a five-a-side game. I don't care if it's a FIFA game. I don't care if it's a friendly. 4-0 is still 4-0, and a lot has been learned from this game as well. Now, let's get the obvious out of the way. These Belgians took a beat down, courtesy of Newcastle United, to round off what has been a roller coaster week, to say the least. Newcastle United lined up, quite a strong lineup. Um, started off 4 4, 1 1, let's go with that. Sells in goal again, looking to redeem himself. Obviously, playing in Belgium as well, it's home city or home country, even, sorry. Um, and again, we had the likes of Sterry. Happy to see that he started at right back. Lascelles and Mbemba, so no place for Hanley. I think the game had come a bit too soon for him. And I believe Anita was still at left back as well. So again, it's pretty, you know, pretty rock solid in terms of what the the back four has been so far. Um, still question marks on whether Anita's going to be left back all the time or whether we do need to sign Rico Henry or another left back to the squad as well. Um, Dummett made obviously an appearance in the second half, but again, to see Anita start... It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a baffling one, to say the least. But ahead of Sterry was Jan Matt starting in a right midfield position, which, uh, you know what, I don't see the problem in that one. Um, again, it gives us a different dimension. Jan Matt likes to get forward, a bit shaky at the back. So again, maybe this might be the right position for him when he stays at the club, or whilst he stays at the club. In the centre of midfield, we had Colbeck and uh, Hayden. Happy to see that. I think that is going to be the central midfield partnership going forward into the season. I can see Tio to be sold, not, sold off. sorry, And also, Sarve is still not convinced me enough to, to get a first-team place. So I can see Colbeck and Hayden being our central midfield partnership. Watch this space. On the left-hand side was Rolanda Ahrens. Glad to see this guy getting some so much game time now. Glad to see it. And hopefully he's impressing you guys as much as he's impressed me. Up front, we had Gail... And, of course, Perez playing in that number 10 role. Come on, man. I'm educating you guys. I told you. Perez is going to take that number 10 role, whether you like it or not. Ginny who? Anyway, game got off to a good start. Um, lots of chance to be made. Free-flowing football, guys. You know, obviously, the opposition is not much to be desired against. So, again, we've got to be experimentative and, you know, make sure that these chances count. And, and they did. Obviously, the first goal went in. Uh, Perez was the goal scorer, you know, dribbled from a good 30-40 yards out. Nice glorious one-two with Aaron's. Aaron's crossed it across the floor with his right foot and then just nice easy tapping for Perez, 1-0 up to Newcastle United. And that's what I've been saying for the longest time. Get the ball out wide, get it back in. And it's just simple, whether it's up in the air, whether it's down on the floor, that's the simple thing that we need to do. And something else as well is that when we're playing Perez and Gale up front, Nine times out of ten, they're not going to win headers. So what do they need to do? Pass it along the floor. It's just common sense. But obviously, this is sort of the common sense that we wasn't dealing with or wasn't working with last season. Anyway, so it's good to see that in action. Anyway, goal number two, and Perez turns into the provider. Um, we won a free kick, edge of the area, or close to the edge of the area. Curls it in, and then Yama, of all people, rises up, heads it into the, into the near corner, and they were 2 0 up, and Yama actually looked like he was, you know, kind of rolled up for this friendly. I know mean, I've seen the picture, tweeted it on, on Twitter, giving it one of them, and I'm thinking to myself, hold on a minute, mate, you sure you're about this life? You sure you want to be staying here and giving it your all? But you know what? Whilst you're in a Newcastle shirt, you're one of us, mate. You're one of us. Anyway, goal number three, and again, not a bad strike to be honest with you. Colbert gets it from, I think, edge of his area, just past the halfway line, in fact. Um, clips the ball into Gale. Gale knocks it down. I don't know if it's intentionally or not. And then Parrish just finishes it nice and flush on the half volley. And yeah, this guy's in the form. Man. Perez had a nice, solid game. It's good to see him getting a run out as well. And again, he's going to be lethal for us this season as well. Um, Rung the changes, obviously, at half time. Um, obviously, as I said before, Dummett came on, Mitrovic came on. 
Toven, I think, made an appearance as well. Um, and everyone, you know, played their part as well. Darlow obviously went in goal as well. And then Shelby, of course, who scored the fourth goal, came on as a sub. Um, all dropped to him. I think Gale took a strike, which kind of deflected back out to him. And this is the sort of range that he needs to be, you know, taking chances with. You know, during the season, he was a bit hesitant at first, kind of to, to strike it from 30, 40 yards out. And that's what you're best at. You're best at long balls and striking it from range. So it's good to see him taking, you know, chances like that. Took a heavy deflection nonetheless. But again, ended up in the back of the net. And that's what counts. And 4 0, easy game. And again, as I said before, just rounded off a nice roller coaster up and down week. You know, we've sold Ryan out of 25 million. You know, brought in Hanley for 5.5 million. Pretty much used the profits that we, we got from Ryan Aldum to, to bring in Hanley. So, all in all, it's been, a, you know, one of those weeks that Newcastle United fans are used to. Full of drama, but, you know, we love it nonetheless. On to the next friendly now, which I believe is Southend. Um, I'm going to be going to the Vitesse on Ham. On him, I hope I got that right. Game, but also I'm going to be going to the open day on Monday. Um, so if you see me about in the grounds, you know, probably going to have my GoPro in hand. Um, then just stop by and say hello. Basically, I'm going to be taking loads of videos and loads of footage and stuff. I love being in the ground anyway, so it's one of those things. But oh, yeah, and also I've left the, the goals in the comments below just for you guys to have a cheeky look as well. But it's not. I'll put it this way, the footage is not that great, so please don't shoot the messenger. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, as always, you guys know what to do, guys. Give us a big thumbs up. And also, thank you for the support as well. Thank you for the kind comments about you know how many subscribers I have got and how many I should have. Um, trust me, I appreciate every kind comment that you guys give me because at the end of the day, I'm only doing this for a hobby, but it's nice to have the support of you guys especially as well. Also, just before I go, I went to a uh, a meeting uh, with N FNA Films um, and they were talking about putting a video package together about the whole season as well. Something that I'm very interested in as well because I'm looking to get more involved in that side of things as well. Probably going to run my own um, or a conjunction with Talking to Toon TV. Um, talking to you guys, the fans, after the games, getting your reaction of results as, as well. So check out my Twitter, at Ford Esquire, um, and then I'll be letting you guys know more about it. Hopefully I can start off straight away from the Fulham game, but I just need a bit of help and support from you guys to get this off the ground anyway. It's just an idea, but I fingers crossed, I think I can make it happen. That's enough for me, guys. I'm waffling on now, so take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys all soon. Have a good weekend. Peace.